Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today's video, we are going to look at disconnected tables. I did a video last week or I, I think a couple of weeks ago uh, talking about how disconnected tables in Power BI can be very, very powerful to achieve some of the uh, reporting requirements which are otherwise not possible. We are going to look into another use case where disconnected table will be very, very helpful to achieve a very simple reporting requirement, very critical and otherwise which is not possible but only possible using disconnected tables. Let's take a look at Power BI and uh, go through the problem statement and the solution. So what I have here is a very simple model. Um, again, this this was posted on uh, actually on Power BI community forum where uh, which triggered this uh, this video. A simple transaction table uh, where items and uh, vendors are uh, just a um, standard data model. And the ask here is a uh, simple ask, like look at the vendors. There is a total contract amount, which is in, in transaction table and total paid amount. If contract, if paid amount is more than contract amount, then exceed, the status is exceeds. If it is same, then it is uh, same otherwise less so that's kind of thing and the ask here is to the, the ability to filter on these statuses that's what we wanted to achieve here that was the goal so in this particular case what i did is um so the total contract amount and the total paid amount are just the sum of contract amount and the paid amount and then i calculate the status now here the status is added as a column in the vendor table just be um I, I want to make sure you understand this the status column has been entered as a calculated column in the vendor table how i did that let me actually show you guys so go into the status here uh, that's a vendors table and we have a status column here and what i did is like uh, took the difference between total contract amount of course that's a measure minus total paid amount and then I check, okay, if it's uh, greater than zero, then less. If it's less than zero, exceeds and the same. So very simple formula added as an, a, a, a column in vendor table and all looks great because if we look at here, 100 uh, contract amount, 100 paid amount and the status is same, perfect. Here in the contract amount is 100, paid amount is 89 and the status is less, which is, which is what we want. In this case, V3. 100 contract amount, paid amount is 200, so we paid more, so that exceeds over the contract amount. So everything works fine. Now here what I can do is I can use this status column from, um, I can use this st status column from the vendor table as a slicer and then can simply, um, if I want to see how many vendors we paid less, so we can see that, but more, we can do that and it becomes uh, very easy to work with. Now, here is the challenge. Uh, we know we have a item column in our transaction table as well. And also we have a item dimension table. This could be anything. It could be geography or uh, anything else. But the point here is the status column in our vendor table is based on all the transactions for of that vendor in the transaction table now uh, look here what happens let's see if i select i put a slicer uh, on item so if i slice on slice uh, on a select a uh, item a now what i see here is v1 50 50 is same but if you look at the v2 50 50 for that particular item the vendor 2 has total contract amount 50 and total paid amount is 50 but the status is showing less why it is showing less because this has been calculated as in a calculated column in our vendor table and that is based on all the transaction when we are filtering on an item our measures on the transaction tables is getting filtered but the status is not getting updated so that is what is happening this status is whatever the v2 status is based on all the transaction but when we are selecting an item, we are now looking at a subset of the transaction. And in that case, this should be same. And that's where the, the things are not working. But if we're looking 
overall all the transactions for the vendor, then it will be fine. But if as soon as we filter our transaction table, either through slicer or by whatever means, the 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 status would not work. Like any anything we select here, it is not working as expected. Like for example, V3, I've selected ABC, it says 50, 50 is the total paid amount and the uh, uh, status is exceed. Th this is again, the status is coming as in a column from the vendor table. So what is the solution? Now, how we can make it work that our status is getting updated as we are slicing and dicing the data and also have the ability to able to filter uh, or use a status as in a slicer in our uh, so that we can see how many are paid access or paid less or paid same um, now that's the first thing what we need to do is it means we need to recreate our status column right because the status is we cannot use it as a column it has to be a measure measure based on what has been selected what has been uh, whatever the filter is applied in the transaction table based on that we should calculate the status and co uh, column so now we cannot do that we cannot add this as in a column but first what we need to do is we need to calculate status as a measure i already did that let me bring that up and put it in in this visual here so i already have a status as a measure it's the same logic what we have in this we added a status as in a column in vendor table but now we are adding it as in a measure. So it's the same thing, total contract amount minus total paid amount. And then we are checking if the difference is blank, then don't show anything because then, then it means there's no transaction. Otherwise we have less exceed same and that same logic uh, we are applying in this measure. Now uh, th let's put this in the visual here in our matrix visual status as measure. So now if you see the difference here for we have selected abc we have selected only three items here and uh, the the first one is same by chance this the both are coming correctly but the second one is also coming the same but look at the third one when we look at the v3 it is the total contract amount is 50 and the paid amount is 50 whereas the status as a column which is entered which we created in the vendors table is showing exceed but we know the correct value is same because these both are the same. And also if we look at the V5, uh, it, the status as a column in the vendor is saying exceed and we have a less, which is correct. So basically status as a measure is working correctly and that's what we need. So the status which we calculated as a column is not the right solution here. If we, again, it, it, it's not right or wrong. If we're looking at all the transaction, we don't care about the the selection on the slicer for the items then the status adding as in a column in vendor table makes sense but if we want it to be aware of all the selections we make in the slicers then we have to add it as in a measure now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove a status column from the visualization there's no point in here we because we know the status as measure is working fine but the challenge is this particular slicer which is a status slicer is coming from our vendor table because if i click on that it is coming from our vendor table because of that status column and we know that status column is not correct if we select certain items in our slicer so in this particular case if i say same i might not get the right result uh, actually the last one uh, will the exceed uh, so here in this case is exceed if I select exceed uh, the status is same or less but uh, it is uh, when I'm selecting access it is giving me uh, these two vendors that's not correct because this status is based on all the items or all the transactions again let's uh, select a few items here so that's it's all same 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 in this case so if I click exceed I probably get something completely different and if I go less, I'm getting something completely different. So unfortunately, the existing status column we cannot use because that status column is not aware of the items getting selected. So what is the solution? How we can solve this? How we can make it work dynamically so that our status is calculated, getting calculated dynamically based on the selection we are making? Why? 
how we can have a slicer on the status which is also dynamic so that when we make any selection in the status slicer it also filter those vendors so this is where the disconnected tables come in the pictures so what is going to be the solution we're going to add a disconnected table which i already did in my model and um, and then we're going to use that as in a slicer and that's how we're going to uh, make it work so i already created a, a table called vendor status with three options in it uh, which is pretty much all the possible status uh, uh, combinations are right in this case only three in your case if those statuses are coming from some external source you might be bringing it from some backend system or some from excel file stored somewhere but doesn't matter so we need a table with all the unique values of the status which i already have it in here in my model called vendor status let me show you quickly uh, if i go to tables here and um, if i go to vendor status uh, what we have is we have a three uh, same less exceed three values in that particular slicer now we're going to use this as an slicer so i'm going to remove i'm going to add that particular from vendor status table i'm not going to bring the status here in my um of course it's going to give the error because they don't know they do no relationship so now we have status coming from uh vendor status column uh, table uh, which has a unique values now the let's say i select all here just to make sure um, we have all the items selected if the but nothing is going to happen at this point of time because if i select anything this table has it does not have a relationship with any of the table so it doesn't matter what i select here it would not do anything to this table the this visual because it's not filtering anything so what we need to do is we need to create another measure which will compare this status as measured with the selected statuses in our slicer and then wherever it matches that's what we will keep other one will be filtered out so how what we're going to do is we're going to create another measure to to make this happen let's add a measure and call it filter vendor status so filter vendor status so what we need here is first we need to get the status of each vendor uh, so how we can do is and then compare that status with uh, the statuses which are selected in the slicer so which is coming from the disconnected table so first what we can do is uh, vendor with status so we can take a, a values of all the vendors from our vendor table so that's given values is going to give us a a all the vendors from our vendor table and then we're going to add the column to this add column and we're going to call it sorry add columns and we're going to call it status so status as measure so so basically we're going to add the status for each vendor uh, based on the selection so this will be a dynamic right because it's a measure we are using status as measure and the next thing what we're going to do is uh, filter vendor status so what we're going to see is now we know all the vendors with their statuses and then we are going to check how many vendors are uh, those statuses match with the what the status has been selected in the slicer so well, that's pretty straightforward what we can do here is we can have filter our table which is vendor with status where our status column this is the one which we created in uh, our this selected in vendor sorry in values was the table of vendor status status so let me quickly walk through what we're doing here so what we are saying is the table which we created vendor with status and uh, we added a column to that which is status as a measure added as in a column 
and then we are saying is whatever the status this particular column which we added on the vendor is in these selected values it means those are the one we want to keep so or show in 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 the matrix visual so yeah that's what we're doing here and then what we're going to do is now this will return us a table and then we would count the rows of this particular uh, table filter vendor status right so let's do that okay so we're going to add this filter vendor status here in um in this visual so right now we see value one 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 the reason why we're seeing is because nothing can be selected it means we want to see everything now let's select less so it means it will only show where uh, the one value will only show where the value status as measure is less right so this is working so let's say if i select two same so it will show the uh, one for less or same right so that's what it is and uh, now this will change accordingly depending on what we select here let's say if i select item a only and whatever will be the less and same would work now let's say if i in this particular case we have a we just pick less and then it will only have the value one for the less one right so if i have a b here i selected so everything is now same but we have selected less unfortunately there's nothing matching the criteria what we have selected so that we are not getting any value and let's select c here so some of those are now less other are same so it's working so basically what we know where the filter vendor status is equal to one is working based on our selection so what we simply need to do is have a visual level filter here where we can say filter vendor status where is not blank right and boom so what we can do is now we can remove this filter vendor status from our table here so what we have now is depending on what we wanted to select it's working so now this is working as as we want let's say if i select only item a and uh, in case of item a we have a two statuses only one is less and same and if i select less it is it is working and showing only the one which we which we need to see let me know what do you guys think about this video uh, i'm pretty sure that you probably learned how you can leverage these connected tables to achieve something which is otherwise not possible and uh, make sure to check out the a playlist which i will put in the uh, description of this video on disconnected tables the, the there are so many videos i uh, i did uh, do subscribe my channel and uh, make sure uh, hit the bell icon so that you get notified when the new video comes out working on a lot more exciting videos again uh, give a thumbs up share with your network thanks for watching have a great day Bye for now. Thank you.